Hey there guys, had a couple seconds. I thought I'd share them with you. Uh, been out in the rain all day today, so during the recording of this, you may hear some thunder in the background. I'm sneaking out in between raindrops to just spend a few seconds with you guys. And you know, the thing about rainy days for me, it tends to spark creativity for me. Like I wanna, I wanna sit inside and write or paint or do something creative. And that started me thinking about creativity and problem solving and how does that help us on a daily basis. Now, Pablo Picasso said that all children are artists. It's just difficult to hold on to that when we grow up. What it's all about for me to be creative is to act like you can't fail because creativity, if you're drawing something, if you're painting something, it's gonna be your interpretation, so it can't be wrong. And I think when you accept your creativity all, all in, you go all in with whatever it is that you're creating, I think you can tap into that sense of what is possible. And a lot of times if we get out of creativity and we just start thinking logically, we get stuck. We get stuck in the cognitive part of our brain. So maybe it's a rainy day for you, but what sparks your creativity? You know, I looked up some of the suggestions and I found a bunch of different articles. There's some I thought were kind of funny. Some people say that they get creative ideas in the shower. That sort of makes sense because a lot of people believe that creative ideas come when you're doing something that is mundane. So I guess, that would be being in the shower. You don't have to think a lot about that, I would assume. So if a creative idea comes to you in the shower, the author of Still Like an Artist, which by the way is a great book, um, his name is Austin Kleon. He said that if he gets his ideas in the shower, he makes sure that he keeps a dry erase marker so that as soon as he gets out of the shower, he can write it on the mirror. There's an idea. Another one which I thought was interesting is aromas, the sense of smell can spark your creativity, specifically rosemary, vanilla, and cinnamon. Another suggestion is to turn off the television. Well, even though I made my living into the television, I have to say that's probably a good idea. So why don't you share with me what sparks your creativity? Are you easily tapped into it? I mean, can you easily just get into something? Do you knit? Do you draw? Do, what is it that you do? Do you do improv? Which, by the way, is a great way to investigate your creativity and expand your mind a little bit. The whole idea behind improv is it's yes and. So it's a very positive way to open up your mind to different possibilities. So tell me, what do you do? I want to know. And maybe we can all tap into some creativity this week. Bye.